What does the Bible say about the wind? So Moses stretched out his staff over the land of Egypt, and the Lord brought an east wind upon the land all that day and all that night. When it was morning, the east wind had brought the locusts. He rode on a cherub and flew. He was seen on the wings of the wind. Do you think you can reprove words when the speech of a despairing man is wind? By his wind, the heavens were made fair. His hand pierced the fleeing serpent. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens, and by his power, he led out the south wind. He remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes and comes not again. He laid the beams of his chambers on the waters. He makes the clouds his chariot. He rides the wings of the wind. For he commanded and raised the stormy wind, which lift up the waves of the sea. He it is who makes the clouds rise at the end of the earth, who makes lightning for rain and brings forth the winds from his storehouse. Fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy wind fulfilling his word. The wind blows to the south and goes around to the north. Around and around goes the wind, and on its circuit the wind returns. For to the one who pleases him, God has given wisdom and knowledge and joy. But to the sinner, he has given the business of gathering and collecting, only to give to the one who pleases God. This also is vanity and a striving after the wind. Behold, they are all a delusion. Their works are nothing. Their metal images are empty wind. They shall not hunger or thirst. Neither scorching wind nor sun shall strike them. For he who has pity on them will lead them. And by springs of water will guide them. When you cry out, let your collection of idols deliver you. The wind will carry them off, a breath will take them away, that he who takes refuge in me shall possess the land and shall inherit my holy mountain. When he utters his voice, there is a torment of water in the heavens, and he makes the mist rise from the ends of the earth, he makes lightning for rain and he brings forth the wind from his storehouse. Like the east wind, I will scatter them before the enemy. I will show them my back, not my face, in the days of their calamity. Therefore, thus says the Lord, I will make a stormy wind break out in my wrath, and there shall be a deluge of rain in my anger, and great hailstone and wrath to make a full end. The iron, the clay, the bronze, the silver, and the gold, all together were broken in pieces, and became like shaft 
of the summer threshing floor, and the wind carried them away so that not a trace of them could be found. But the stone that struck the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. For behold, he who formed the mountains and created the wind, and declares to man what is his thought, who makes the morning darkness and treads on the heights of the earth. The Lord, the God of hosts, is his name. Then I lifted my eyes and saw, and behold, two women coming forward. The wind was in their wings. They had wings like the wings of storks, and they lifted up the basket between earth and heaven. And they were filled with great fear and said to one another, Who then is this that even the wind and the sea obey him? The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. After this, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth, that no wind might blow on earth or sea or against any tree. <laughs> 